and it goes to be like this. Calm is calm because you're messing with black, black and trans. Yeah. 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 You're right. You're all know? right too. Yeah, mate. you're pretty yeah. same kind, yeah, different colour. Mate. That's it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'd like to play you another song. It's um, this is a song made, made famous by Edith Piaf. And um, I'd like to dedicate this song to um, all the displaced and misplaced people on his earth. Yeah, and all the stolen. And all the stolen people, and all the sold people that, you know, left in cars and casinos and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes to be like this. TV that I really love. Uh, oh, pub's closed, eh? Yeah. Do you want to go in the pub? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. I know a really good one. Yeah? Um, yeah, the Labouring Vane Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, in Brunswick Street. Uh, yeah, in Fitzroy. In Fitzroy. <laughs> yeah, my mate Dave works there. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's a really choice bloke. We might even Cute. get some free beers yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that'd be choice. Yeah. All right, we've got to get a cab. Want to share a cab? Yeah, no worries. Right, well, I'll go get the cab, right? Yeah, and I'll, I'll hide behind the tree. <laughs> <laughs>
thank you very much for coming to see um, Black and Tran. Man, you guys rock. It's been like two full houses in a row. And that, you know, I'd like to thank um, thank the uh, the Trades Hall for inviting us here and uh, for, for, for this Feder Federation Festival. We, uh, um, we're really wrapped about that. And thanks to, to Patty. Patty, <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Guy. Jackie Guy. Who put this whole thing together? And um, and then Catherine, who's a public publicist, and she's done a fantastic job. Yeah. 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 And we're going to go for our family now. You know we come from big firms. We're going to say. That. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, yeah. One more thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have. I write a book. So <laughs> it's not in Maltese. <laughs> what is it? If you know, it's, you know, it's for sale outside if you want. It's very, it's very funny. It's got really funny pictures and stuff. <laughs> uh, now look, look, watch, look. It says, "The life, ravings, and hallucinations of Australia's zany comic genius." <laughs> I'll be outside signing them if you want. And, uh, <laughs> and you please uh, put your hands with Ningley because like Ningley's never done comedy ever before and I think I've taught her a thing or two. <laughs> It was great uh, to have a collab you know, collaborative view. We talked and Hung talked about his, his background growing up in Vietnam and coming to Australia. The whole thing about the show is like, you know, they have this whole stereotype thing, people chuck you in these little boxes, but yet we're still Australian, you know. So regardless of all things, it was a fantastic experience and I really thank Hung for that, for that thing. But see, I'm a real actor. <laughs> to take it to Hong Kong. Actually, can I just tell you a Hong Kong story when I came back? I had to, I have to say this, this is so funny, right? I, I got back from Hong Kong and, and, and I was standing at the customs department with my Australian post, you know, passport with my Australian face. <laughs> I, I went to the passport because I didn't, I didn't fill out a, a particular air, you know, section of the uh, customs card. And um, this guy said, oh, look, you didn't fill this in. And I just thought, oh, well, you know, I live here. I don't, I don't think I should need to. Anyway, I filled it out and gave it back to him, and he looks at me real seriously and says, and how long are you intending to stay in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> and I just sort of looked at him and said, ah, oh, maybe another 40,000 years, what are you doing? <laughs> I usually dedicate a poem uh, at the end of the, sh end of the show, and this is a poem that I did in my one woman show, Ningale, and um, this is a poem I wrote for my son, and it's very appropriate for tonight's occasion, I suppose, and every occasion we've done this show, because of who we are, because we are Australian, we're very proud, and this is how I feel about my country, and I'd like to dedicate it to you, to the audience tonight, if you guys don't mind. And um, it goes like this, I'm going to say it in one minute, and I'll say it in English for you guys, and it goes like this. It's called My Firstborn. To you, my fellow Australians, I give you my mother's land. To you, my fellow Australians, I give you my grandfather's pride. To you, my fellow Australians, I give you my grandmother's wisdom. To you, my fellow Australians, I give you my father's love. For these are the things most precious to me, so keep them close to your hearts. Thank you.